Aloha, this is Norma, and I am going to show you how I post-process this image. All right, so to get started, um, this is straight out of Camera Raw, so I really didn't have to do any major adjustments, just slightly adjusted the white balance a touch, but everything else is straight out of camera, which is your number one goal, makes everything easy. So I'm gonna zoom in here. The first thing that I do is I like to clean up the skin tone. So zoom in a lot, clean up the skin tone and clean up the skin itself. I'm gonna go ahead and do a duplicate layer over here. And just, I'm gonna put blemishes, even though this baby really doesn't have any blemishes. I'm gonna select my clone tool over here decrease the brush, brush size, and my opacity is set to 90%. I find for myself that it blends in nicer when I have it not set at 100%. All right, so let's start cleaning the skin. So I'm gonna go in here and just clean up the skin around the eyes. Got some little eye boogers that we need to get. And over here, just some Little scratches. Really, this baby has nice skin. I'm not really a whole lot to edit, just basic stuff. So I should be able to go through this fairly quickly. If you get a little too carried away, you can always undo what you did. I'm on a Mac, so when I'm saying like the short keys that I'm using, it's going to be on a Mac, so anybody that's on Windows, I'm not sure if it's the same, so please bear with me. So just go through here, just some little spots, a little hair right here. Go around here to the eye a little bit more, try to clear out the, the yellow. Um, eyelash. Let's see if I can get the little boogers in there. And then just up here at the top by the hairline, there's just some little skin that's flaking off completely normal for newborns. And then a little spot over here. All right, so I am done with the skin, just clearing up the blemishes. So now I'm gonna work on, baby's got a little bit of redness, um, some yellow to the skin, and I wanna brighten up the image just a little bit and also keep in the details. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a levels layer. So over here, I'm gonna click on levels. I'm gonna brighten the image. So it's at a 1.14, that looks good to me. And let's see, what else do I wanna do? Let me, I, I do wanna bring back some of the black in the image. Cause I don't wanna completely fade away his details and he's got some great cute little hair on his head. So that's at an 11. So this is before and after. So it just kind of brings back the blacks. Um, I want to soften the image just a little bit since this is a newborn. Do another levels layer and the bottom half over here I'm going to increase the black slider so it's going to lighten up the blacks a little bit to let's do a nine and then I'm going to take my white slide and bring it down to a 247. Then I'm going to go back and just touch a light. Okay. So that's before and that's after. So just, it's like a soft light basically is what I added. All right, so now I wanna go in and just remove some of that redness in his skin. I'm gonna do that by doing a selective color. So I'm gonna enter into a quick mask and on my mask, I'm gonna click my Q and that enters. If you look over here, now my quick mask is on. I'm going to click my brush 
and increase my brush size, make sure that it's a soft brush, opacity at 100%. And I'm just gonna paint on everywhere that I see, I feel has got some redness that I wanted to take out. All right, then I'm gonna click on my Q again, and that exits out a quick mask, and it selects the area that I want to adjust. So now I'm gonna go back over here to my adjustments area, and I'm gonna click on selective color. So basically, it makes a layer mask from the selection that I made. All right, so now whatever adjustments I make will only be applied to that area that I selected. So here, since I wanna focus on the magenta, I am going to slide, bring the magentas down. And then I'm gonna go down here to the blacks and I'm gonna bring it down because that's gonna lighten up that area. So that is, let's do it before and after. So that's before and that's after. Perfect. All right, so now my final steps is I'm going to bring out the eyelash and the hair a little bit more and then soften the baby's skin. So I'm gonna do a duplicate layer. I'm gonna do, title this one eyelashes. And I'm gonna bring this to the very top. And don't worry if you can't see your changes, we're gonna change that. I'm gonna run a high pass filter. So I'm gonna go down to filter, others, and high pass. I'm gonna change this to about 23. And now I'm going to go back over here and it's on normal. I'm going to change that to a soft light. So it's applying the filter to the entire image and I don't want that. So I'm going to add a layer mask and I'm going to invert this mask to black. So now I'm able to take my brush and just brush on where I want that mask applied which is just to the eyelashes. So I'm just gonna paint on right over here. And then I usually go into the hair a little bit, bring out the details of the hair, and he's got such cute hair. And then also um, I'll do the lips a little bit. And then I'm gonna go down here to the opacity of that layer, and I'm gonna decrease it, um, we'll do like uh, 69. All right, so that's before, and after, before and after. So it just brings it out just enough. All right, now I'm going to do, I'm gonna soften the skin. So I'm gonna do another duplicate layer of the background. Title this one, Soften Skin. And bring it back to the top like I did before. I'm gonna use another high pass filter. I'm gonna keep it at 23. All right, there we go. And you're probably like, oh my gosh, why is she using a high pass filter that's for sharpening? Well, if you invert the high pass filter, it softens, it's blurry. So I'm going to invert command I on my Mac and I'm going to change it from normal to an overlay. So you see that it's blurry and that's because I inverted it. So when I Let's invert it back. So that's not so sharp. And that's the blurry. So I'm gonna add a mask to that and invert my mask because I wanna be able to paint on what I want. So take my brush and increase the brush size and just paint on the area that I want soft. I avoid the eyelashes and the eyebrows, do the cheeks, the nose. Try not to go over the lines of the nose. Um, just get in here with a smaller brush. Don't go over the lips. And then you can go over the arms a little bit. And then I'm gonna go over here and change the opacity to way, let's see. 27 looks good. You don't want to over sharp, um, soften the baby's skin because then it just starts to blend things together and it looks unnatural. 
So that's the, this is before and that's after. So just a little bit. And now that I'm done with that, so baby is good to go. I am ready to move on. Um, let me, now I can crop my image. So I take my crop tool and I always crop 15 by 11, all my images. That way when I go to print the image, my customers, my clients, when they go to crop and make an eight by 10, it's not a significant crop of the image itself. And so uh, they're not gonna lose a lot of detail. All right, so that looks good about there. Let that process through and voila, I am done. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. Thanks.